So the Nike RTF KT Dunks just dropped, and this shoe is actually more exclusive than a pair of Dior Jordan 1s. So we're going to be taking a close look at this shoe, every detail that you need to know about it, and whether you should cop it or not. So a little background about this shoe, this is actually the second pair of Dunks that RTF KT and Nike dropped. They pre-ordered these back in November of 2023. Today is August 12th, 2024. So it took basically nine months, I want to say, to end up getting these shoes and they were pre-orderable at a price of $220 each. $222 each, that is. And I actually ordered two pairs. I ordered two pairs of the white ones, two pairs of the black ones. This one here specifically is a size 12, if you guys are wondering for the details. And we're gonna cover all the really, really cool details about this shoe, because me personally, I do think it was worth the wait. So diving right into it, this shoe is ultra customizable. What I mean by that is you can actually take the back tab, the extra back tab that it comes with, you can clip it on the back, and you can actually take an extra tongue guard that it came with, and you can clip this guard on the front of the shoe as well. So you can change a bunch of different things about this shoe. Another thing that you can do is actually on the lace holes here, on the eye holes, these plastic pieces are customizable. You can take them off, you can remove them, you can do whatever you want with them. I personally think they look really, really cool, but that's another thing you can customize with this shoe. Now, if you saw that my video about the black pair was really clean, this shoe actually has way more details though. So around the upper of the shoe, it has this plastic layer, kind of like a holographic trading card. You know, when you scratch it with your finger, it makes that like beatboxy noise. It, this shoe does the same thing. And it has it all around the collar of the shoe and the toe box as well. So something is look really close to a seat and it's very hard to see. The toe box is actually a mixture of white, blue, and red. It's kind of like a 3D colorway. I wish I had 3D glasses to put on because if I did, I could kind of see this shoe and I feel like it would pop around the side panels, the toe box, and the back panels where it has this material. It's plasticky, it's not leather or anything, but it's just a really unique material that I've never seen before. To kind of show you guys what I'm talking about right here, where the NFT chip is, which yes, the shoe actually has an NFT chip. It's an RFID chip, but you can scan it with your phone and then you can register this shoe into the metaverse, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, but it has a little red and blue hue to it. So again, if you had 3D glasses, if you looked at this shoe, I'm guessing it would pop a little bit. Here it says Zoom Air. The shoe has Nike Zoom in it, which is really nice. And overall, it's just a really high quality shoe. Um, even on the inside of this shoe, it's got this super soft, super fluffy, uh, just cotton around it, around the insole of it. So just a really good shoe. The tongue is that same holographic material, just a little bit of a different color. It's more of a darker gray. And then obviously on the tongue, it has this plastic piece here with the RTF KT logo. And that's where you can again, slide in the tongue guard there. Now this is where the shoe gets really unique. The laces are laces that I've never seen before. Um, I honestly don't know how to describe these laces. They remind me of those Chinese finger traps as a kid, because that is the material essentially uses. It kind of squishes and grows out when you play with it. Um, but inside they have another pair of white laces, which are just regular laces. And then with that, they have the ghost basically capsules. So here are all the capsules that they had. Apparently they had four different releases. These two were the only public ones that I know of. So the ghost and the void, uh, but there's the Genesis as well as the clone X colorways. So basically it just has this capsule. It can go on the tongue. I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so here it is. It just says ghost, it's metal. It actually has some weight to it. Um, I would say it probably weighs about maybe three ounces, right? It's not super heavy, but it does have some weight to it for you know how big it is. And it basically just clips into the tongue guard. So you clip it in like this and then it just clicks in and uh, it looks really, really sweet and you could slide it on the top of the shoe. I don't know if I'd rock it with it. It makes the shoe really bulky, um, but it does look pretty cool. And it like sticks in there. It's not going anywhere. It's, I mean, it, it's, it really fits really well. They made, it, they made it really well. Now, as you saw, I was showing some of the stickers. This shoe came with probably seven different stickers. Here's the number one. They had one of them with all of the different colorways of this shoe, which again, are just the white, black, gray colorways that they have. A Nike uh, Files one, which is chrome, pretty sick on, on the color on that one. A uh, sticker of the back tab, as well as a sticker of the footprint, which is a moon texture. This, this sticker is actually really insane. This feels like a, a $5 sticker, because it has a, it, like the, on, the on the sticker itself, there's a bunch of moon texture, and this is obviously a moon footprint, uh, which is really dope a robo dog of it with the uh, shoe on it, which is pretty sick. And then their logo, which is, oops, you stepped into the future, uh, which is pretty sweet. Looking at some other details, the swoosh on this shoe is extremely white. It's kind of like an enamel white. I mean, it is really, really white. It doesn't match anything else on the rest of the shoe. Um, the rest of the shoe is just a gray, cool gray color. So this is the only white feature of the shoe, but it's really nice. On the outside of the shoe, it says enhanced by RTFKT. That is a hard plastic. So this is actually really, really hard plastic. You're not able to really bend into that, unlike the foam around the midsole. This is really like squishy. And then if we look at the bottom of this shoe, it has almost this glow in the dark texture, but it's not glow in the dark. That's kind of what the color reminds me of. And yeah, just a really, really cool outsole, super durable. I feel like if you wore this shoe, uh, you could wear it a hundred times, a thousand times, and you wouldn't have any issues with it at all in terms of quality. Here's a look at the insole, just totally normal, really thick and padded. This is again, a really high quality shoe, super high quality insole. It's not that 
uh, kind of plasticky fake crap, this won't fall apart. This feels really nice. Now on the inside of the shoe is really cool. It's kind of like a computer error. So it shows a computer error message on the inside. It says before token, uh, memory, stuff like that. And yeah, just a really, really cool kind of lining that they put inside. Now here's the super cool part about these shoes. It actually has a, basically a sample tag. It'll tell you what season the shoe is for when it was set to release. So it's not a regular tag as you would look like on a you know normal Nike shoe, which is just really unique to look at. And uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's dope that they do this with these types of pairs. Resell right now is anywhere from four to six hundred dollars per pair. I think that's pretty fair. Um, this shoe is actually rarer than the black pair that I reviewed earlier. I think this shoe will go up in value once people start getting them in hand. Now it is really bulky. This isn't a shoe that you'd probably wear with shorts. It kind of look kind of weird. Uh, but I do think this shoe will go up in value because of the story behind it and all the things that come with it. It's just a really nice pair and, and really well executed. Uh, but yeah, if you picked it up for 220, which is the retail price, you definitely did pretty well. And the last thing I forgot to show you guys was the box. The box is really nice, super great details. This is one of the highest quality boxes I've ever felt. It actually opens up from the side. You pull these tabs on the side away and you can pull it apart as a see-through top. Um, again, really, really nice box. You know, nothing special of it. Does it mean that you should spend extra money on the shoe for the box? No, but I would see why Nike could charge, you know, $20 more if they made just this box, because it's really nice. I mean, it's high quality. So if you guys are wondering if you cop this shoe or not, I really do believe so. If you're flipping it, you obviously made some good money when you're reselling this shoe. Um, it's a high quality shoe. These are rarer than the Dior Jordan 1. So to put it in this perspective, less than 10,000 people have this shoe. I've never seen anyone on the street wearing a legit pair of Dior Jordan 1s. They just don't exist. Not many people wear them, obviously, because they're rare. This shoe is going to be the same way. If you see someone wearing this shoe, it's rare, and you're not going to see multiple people wearing this shoe. In fact, I can probably bet that if you're just walking around the streets, you won't see more than one to two pairs of these uh, per year. I mean, this is rare. So keep that in mind and you know do what you want with that but this is a rare shoe that's just it is what it is so if you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned a thing or two about this pair let me know in the comments if you'd cop this pair or actually wear it again this colorway is super dope not too white pretty much goes with everything uh, the gray color is really sweet and i know this shoe would be super super comfortable and yeah just let me know in the comments if you've cop them other than that guys thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace